Okay, in this question, we have a car which is being driven at a constant speed of 28 meters per second. The driving force generated by the tire on the road is 1,500 newtons. Calculate the power generated. Power is energy over time, and we don't have energy or time. However, we do know that energy is the same as work done, and work done is force times distance. So I'm going to put force times distance in here instead of energy, and that gives me Fs over T. Now the problem is I don't have S or T, the displacement all the time. However, I do know that S over T, displacement of time, is velocity. So I'm going to put V instead of that. So I get P equals FV, which is a really useful equation to remember. So in this particular question, F is 1,500 and V is 28. That gives me 42,000 watts. So 42,000 uh, Joules of energy is being transferred by the car uh, in this particular case. If we assume the road is horizontal and the, kinet the, the velocity is constant, the, so the kinetic energy is increasing, all of that energy is being dissipated to the surrounding. Okay, so in this question, we have a 5.1 kilogram mass sliding down a slope at a constant velocity of 1.2 meters per second. The slope is at 20 degrees above the horizontal. Calculate the rate of dissipation of energy. Rate of dissipation of energy, that's the power, isn't it? So that's how much power is being wasted per unit time. So first of all, I'm going to start off with the free bird diagram. I'm going to add on the weight. And I'm going to do the mul mass multiplied by 9.81 to get the weight. And then I'm going to add a normal reaction force. And I know there's some friction because it's moving at constant velocity. So all the forces need to be balanced on this object. I'm going to resolve the weight into its components, which are going to be useful. I'm going to break them down using trigonometry as well. The normal reaction force is going to equal 47. And this isn't going to be useful because the object is moving down the slope, parallel to the slope like this at 1.2 meters per second, and it's never actually moving in perpendicular slope. So that is not useful. The component that is useful is the 17 newtons because that is the force in the direction the object is moving. So now I can use the equation P equals FV. So the power is in this case force is 17 newton times the velocity in that direction 1.2 that gives me 20.4 watts so where is this energy going is being dissipated in the surrounding how do we know that it's being dissipated in the surrounding and not um, transferred to some other form so firstly it's uh, the speed is constant so we know the kinetic energy isn't increasing where is the energy coming from it's coming from the gravitational potential energy so at the top it would have a gravitational potential. However, all of this is being dissipated as it goes down the slope at constant speed.